This is a typical window for COMSOL Multiphysics. Whenever you launch the software, uh, you will show up this kind of interface. Okay, you can select model wizard or you can select blank model. Now, in blank model, there are three options. You can do 3D simulation, for example, a 3D cylinder. You can do 2D simulation where a 3D cylinder can be represented by a circle if the system is such that it doesn't matter if you are doing 3D or 2D simulation you can do 1D simulation so you can reduce the circle into a ring now all the three cases are not same for example if you are working on system for example particle flow dynamics and so on 3D simulation might be very time intensive it can take up to days to simulate then what people do is reduce the problem into a 2D circle and study the physics which might take maybe uh, 4 to 5 hours even if it is fine to do a 1D simulation such as a ring it might take maybe few minutes to do the problem. I will explain you what are 2D, 3D and 1D simulation. For example, I have a line. I define a line. For example, I am explaining 1D simulation. Okay, This is 1D. I have a line and I want to solve the Schrodinger equation. So I have infinite potential whale. So these are infinitely high and this is a well v equal to 0. So how to do the 1D simulation? You mark a line, put two dots, and you tell the software that this region have infinitely high potential, and this region has infinitely high potential, and this is v equal to zero. Okay. So note that we could have solved the problem by making a 3D model and defining. Uh, these region as infinitely high potential and this as v equal to 0 and this is also v equal to infinite but this is not useful to us we can do the simulation in 1d just by defining that we have infinite potential at two sides and zero potential at the center so you can see how we can reduce a 3d problem into 2d problem and what are we gaining from this? First of all, if you do a 3D simulation, you have to take care of the meshing, the simulation time, the results, and so on. For example, the edge, edge effects, and other phenomena. But in 1D, you don't have to care about all those. All you have is a line. You define the properties of the line at various points and do the simulation. Okay? Okay. So, let's start. So in file, we have these options which is similar to every software. In home, we have a model builder window. Okay, I'll go through this window one by one. So this is a model builder window. Here we will have all the options while doing the simulation. For example, the mesh, the 3D model, the physics, the results, analysis and everything. This is the setting window where we put all kind of boundary conditions and so on. This is the graphic window where we will see our model. For example, in this example, I will solve a cylinder to calculate the resistance of a cylinder. This will be present in the graphics window. Here you have components. These are the parameters. These are the variables. We can add material, for example, copper, iron, etc. This is used to add physics. This is used to add study and so on. Okay. Now, these are this is the material library. You can add as many materials as you want. This is the study. This is the result section. For example, you, know, you can uh, work with 3D plot, 2D plot, 1D plot, polar plot, and so on. You can have a cut line plot. Everything you can do basically. Okay. Now, I'll go to File, New, Blank Model. 
So this is the interface of a blank model. Now I'll do a 3D simulation. So I'll right click, add 3D. See we have these options 0D, 1D, 1D, symmetric, 2D, 2D symmetric, 3D and so on. So I'll select 3D. Note that when I select 3D, I have an option for geometry, which is meter, centimeter and so on. I'll choose centimeter. Now, I'll go to geometry, add a cylinder. And what is the radius of the cylinder? 1 and let the height be 10. I think this is fine. And the position is fine. Now, when I click on build all object, it will build a cylinder for me. You can see I have a cylinder of radius 1 centimeter and a height of 10 centimeter. So this is 2 centimeter diameter and this is 10 centimeter. Okay. Okay, fine. So I have the cylinder ready. Now, what is this cylinder made of? So now I have go to material. I have to add a material. Let's say I want um, copper. So I'll search for some materials. Material will I be? Let's click on copper and add to component one. Okay, this is done. So I have copper and I have selected one. This is so when I clear. You see, I have a cylinder, but copper is not selected. Now I will click on copper and I click on the object. You see here, one will show up. This means one is the cylinder. For example, if we have different objects, you can select different materials for different objects. And these are the, uh, these are the properties of the copper. If you want, you can change all those. So this is totally cool. Now. I have created a model, I have set the materials, now it's time to create the mesh. But before creating the mesh, uh, I think I should go with the introduction once again. So I have a new window. What I did, I created a component, 3D component, and in geometry, I created a cylinder of radius 1 centimeter and height 10 centimeter. And then I chose the material to copper. You could have chosen different material. Fine. So in my next video, I will show you how to mesh the object. So this is uh, for the video. In this video, I showed you how to create a geometry, how to draw a geometry basically, and how to add material to a geometry. Also, I'll show you a simple example. For example, you want to create a complex object. Uh, let's say I, you want to create a sphere of one centimeter at the center. So you do build all object. You have a sphere, but you can't see because the radius of the sphere is one centimeter. So let's choose 1.5 centimeter radius. You see, I have a sphere and a cylinder. Now, if you go to Boolean and partition and click on difference object to add you add an object as the cylinder and what is the object you want to subtract I click on the sphere note what happens when I click on build all I get a cylinder with one side which is bulging inward now what happens is that I have a cylinder okay now, I have a spear. What I did, I added this cylinder and subtracted this spear. So, what happened when I did that? I get a cylinder with one side bulging inward. So, in my next video, I will show how to mesh and what is meshing and why that is one of the most important part in any kind of simulation okay thank you